Hello, this video will review for faculty how to troubleshoot Brightspace by D2L quizzes. Here are a few of the common errors you might find in a Brightspace by D2L quiz. The first one is the grading sandwich, and this occurs when the instructor doesn't select all the required buttons to push the grade through to the grade book. Um, and after being fixed for future cases, it actually doesn't retroact. So the instructor would still need to push the existing grades through to the quizzes area in the grade book um, if someone had taken the exam while the grading sandwich was not in place. So I'll demo both of those um, in a second. The other uh, option or the other common quiz error is the quiz getting stuck in progress. And this occurs when the student either loses connection during their quiz or navigates away from the quiz um, during the time when they're taking it or if their time limit exceeds um, and they don't submit the quiz properly. In this case, the instructor can push the quiz through to be graded or they can reset it or basically essentially delete the quiz for the student to retake it. Um, before they do that, however, they might want to look at the quiz log for the attempt to see exactly what the student was doing. It's almost like a play-by-play -play of the student completing the quiz uh, to evaluate their actions before deciding whether or not to reset the attempt or push it through. Let's begin by looking at the grading sandwich issue. So if you go to the quizzes area in Brightspace by D2L, and you happen to see something like this, zero out of two. That means two attempts have been taken for this quiz, but zero have been pushed through to the gradebook. So this is a common, um, a common thing to, to look at to see if there is an error. Notice here in these, we have one attempt and one has been pushed through to the D2L gradebook. So this is what you want to see. You want to see one out of one, 23 out of 23, 56 out of 56. You don't want to see zero out of two, zero out of one, zero out of 56, etc. So this is a telltale sign that something is wrong with the grading sandwich. So let me show you what I mean by the grading sandwich. So we're going to edit this quiz and we're gonna go to the assessment tab area. So this is what I refer to as the grading sandwich. There's two buttons, you could think of those as the bread, and then there's the grade item which you could think of as the meat or whatever you put in the middle of your sandwich. So in order for the grades to successfully um, record in the quizzes area and get pushed to the D2L gradebook, you want to have both check boxes checked and you want to have it associated to a grade item. And in this case, you can just uh, choose the drop down and click the grade item that it goes with if the grade item has already been created. If it hasn't already been created, then you can add a grade item. And you can actually come in here and name, uh, make a new grade item, and put in the uh, total points and create the grade item straight from here. But this is what we refer to as the grading sandwich. Um, at, since this, these buttons were not checked, when the students took the quiz, it recorded it in the quizzes area, but it didn't push it through to the grade item. So this is the first step, is we want to fix this for future iterations of the course, as well as for anybody who might be, still be taking the quiz um, later on. Now, if you notice, even though we fixed the grading sandwich, if we go back to the quizzes area, you see it didn't push those grade items through. And so this is something that the teacher would manually have to do um, in order to get those uh, grades to push through. And so to do that, you would just choose grade. And then you would be able to see a listing of those who have completed the exam. So you notice these have completed the exam and it says pending evaluation because it hasn't pushed through to the grade book. So in that case, I would click on all these people and I would choose to publish feedback and that is going to push their attempt into the D2L gradebook. Notice now it says published and that pushed it through to the D2L gradebook to where these students can now see their grade. If we go back to the quizzes area, you'll now see we have two out of two instead of zero out of two. So we fix the issue, which is a two-part issue. First of all, we have to fix the exam, fix the grading sandwich for anybody taking it after the fact, and then we have to manually push those grades through. Now let's look at the second issue, which is a quiz stuck in progress. So let's say that a student has reported to you that they were not able to submit their exam, that they were um, interrupted during it, they lost connectivity, or um, they 
just simply walked away from the exam um, or they exceeded their time limit. Or it might be that the student hasn't come to you and just when you go to the grades area, you notice a student is missing an exam. Um, so the way to look at this is if you go to the exam area and we're gonna go to grade. And by default, it's actually gonna be search, um, it's gonna um, automatically be, uh, be filtered by those who have completed an attempt. So by default, you might not see it. So what, you, what I encourage you to do is search it by all users, and that will show people who have completed an attempt, people who haven't completed an attempt, and those who um, have one stuck in progress. So these people haven't completed an attempt at all, and this one you notice is in progress, and we see that this person, um, this, little, this little person will allow you to push it through. Before we push this quiz through, we might want to look um, specifically to see what the student did because we have the option of entering here and pushing it through and having it graded as is, or I have the option of clicking this and doing retract uh, or re reset, and that will essentially delete the, um, delete the quiz attempt and let the student retake it. But to help us make that decision, I want to click on attempt. And I can scroll down and actually see what the student did here, what they answered, and what the correct answer was. So here I can see that he or she was actually answering questions, but then here she gets to one point to where you notice this is the correct answer, but there isn't, um, the student did not answer these questions. Um, so that lets me know that roughly about uh, question 11, the student stopped answering questions. And so I can see more of a play-by-play -play by going to this quizzes event log. And in this quizzes event log, it will show me when the student opened the exam and when they're moving from page to page. So this will let me see if they went through and looked at all the pages and looked at all the questions and didn't submit, or if it lets me see that they truly only went to page four or whatnot and they really didn't see the questions afterwards. When you see something like a quiz re-entry, that is a telltale sign that they got out of the quiz somehow. Either they navigated away or they lost uh, connection, um, they lost Wi-Fi connection, um, and they were able to get back into the quiz. So notice only a minute elapsed here between this time. If they lost connectivity, you might see more of five or six minutes um, elapsing between when they saved the last question um, and they were able to re-enter because they're in the process of getting their Wi-Fi reconnected, etc. Um, notice here they re-entered later on and then they also, we see here the quiz, um, the quiz grace period exceeded. So what is happening now is the student's uh, attempt is stuck in progress. When they go, if they were to try to go in there now, it's not gonna let them save anything or edit any questions. They're gonna immediately get a pop-up saying that their um, time, time has exceeded and they need to submit their quiz. So um, this is, we might say, okay, this is um, you know what I'm looking for or I decide, okay, I do want to um, push it through or delete it. So in that case, if I want to delete it, I would click here and I would reset. Or if I wanted to push it through, I would click this button here, enter the quiz as the user. And I wouldn't want to make any changes because I could technically come in here and make changes as a student, but we don't want to do that. We just want to submit the quiz, submit the quiz, and essentially we are submitting the quiz for the student. And so now when we look at it, we're able to see um, what they scored, which they didn't score very well even answering the questions that they did, and we're able to see the exceeded time limit. And so it's been quite a while since the student opened the exam and didn't complete it. And then now if we look at this attempt, it'll give us even more information here when we look at their quiz log. It will also tell us when we went into the exam and submitted it for the student is what that information is um, explaining to us. Now let's say for um, example that we do want to delete that attempt for the student. I'm able to just click on this attempt and reset and it will automatically uh, delete it for the student so that they can go back in and retake the exam. Now one thing to consider is has the exam window already passed? Because if the exam window, if the exam was due yesterday and they had trouble and I had to reset it and I say okay go back in there and retake it now, 
yes, they can go in there and have another attempt, but the quiz is closed now since it was due yesterday. So what you would want to do in that case is give them special access. So you would want to go to the quizzes area. You would want to find the exam and we would want to edit it. And then we would want to go to the restrictions area and we'd want to scroll to the bottom and give this particular student special access. Say it was due yesterday and maybe I want to give them till this date or whatnot. And then I would want to select um, that particular student to give them a special time window. I'm not giving them any special additional timing. I'm just giving them another window to be able to complete um, the assessment. So if you have a student who has an issue with their attempt and you want to reset it, there's actually two things you need to do. You need to reset the attempt and then you need to give them special access if that special, uh, if the window of time in which they can complete their quiz is already passed. So those are a couple um, of some of the main troubleshooting tips that you might use when working with Brightspace by D2L quizzes.